Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna make this so awkward. <laughs> what? I'm gonna bring up sex and you're gonna become a little puppy dog. <laughs> okay, so the last thing, um, one of the last things that I wanna touch base on that is super important in a relationship. If you would have asked me in my first year of marriage, I would have just not been as serious about it. But now that like we're at six years and everything, I truly think like you start realizing that this is a very important thing in your relationship is to have sex with your spouse. Like, it's not just like a dirty thing. I mean, it is. Oh, it can't be. <laughs> but seriously, you have to make time for sex. Intimacy is everything in a relationship. If we go a while without just being honest, we fight more. We're not getting along. Yep. It just, it's not. It, we butt heads a yes, lot more when yes. we've not. You have, and it's not, like I said, the dirty concept. It's spending, that's. Me? Intimate time yes. with each other that you yes. used to do when you were dating, <laughs> you know. Well, it's just like it's, it's just... another level of spending time with each other, and that's you and your partner's time. Your kids obviously are not involved in that, so I mean, they are made. Well, unless that. ones can see, <laughs> but then they're involved, which that's happened to us three times. So. That is a major, major thing to a relationship is yeah. making sure that you're being intimate with your spouse and I had the question of someone asked how because people know that we co-sleep with Miley and stuff how we make time for sex with her in the bed like how do we do it is with Miley co-sleeping a lot of the time she does sleep right next to the bed and um her and little, rock and play. yeah we have like a rock and play and i know she's kind of too big for it but it works for right now she'll sleep a little bit in there but a lot of most of the time she's honestly in bed with us she loves but, yeah. snuggle and has to, yeah she a lot of the time has to be stumbles yeah. to sleep she co-sleeps so there's more places to enjoy each other that's not the bed and it's not always just the main deed that you have to do there's other forms of intimacy not going to get too deep into that but you adults will get my drift just making sure that you're being intimate with each other in any way is huge in a relationship it's literally key wouldn't you say yeah because when she's grouchy oh <laughs> when she's grouchy i'm like man i can tell it's been a minute because <laughs> i'm grouchy too <laughs> and then we just you gotta and then we're better but seriously, well, it ain't better until the deed happens. Yeah, but it does help. Like, <laughs> it helps your relationship. You're a lot happier. I mean, I'm a lot happier afterwards. That's he, for he's sure. He's such a guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fellas, you know what I'm talking about. You're a lot happier. You whistle down the street. Oh skip. God. Have a skip to your step a little bit afterwards. You know, it's gotta happen. Guys need it, man. And that's where we'll end. <laughs> But I'm being real here. Yeah, honey. you are. I like it. But with kids at all, even one kid, it's really hard to make sure you're spending time together. Um, let alone three, and especially with two of them under one. Yeah. We. It's hard. Like there's a lot of times that we. They have a lot of needs. Yes. And if you're parents, you know this already. But as I mentioned, if you and your spouse are not good and you guys are not on the same page, your kids will suffer. Um, we try our best not to Because you'll fight in yeah. front of them. Well, we try our best not to, ask. but our attitudes towards each other. They'll ask. They, especially Caden being five, he catches up one thing. And he asks why we're doing, you know, being mean yes, to each why other. we're not talking to each other. So your relationship has to come first. It does. because I mean, before the kids were us. Yeah. You know, we have to be on good terms with each other or our kids suffer. So putting your relationship above your kids, I mean, it, it has to happen. Obviously, our kids would never do without. And yeah, we don't, it's not, we're not saying yeah. neglect your kids so you can go and, yeah, you know, have sex with each other real quick. Yeah, no. That's not what we're meaning no, by that. We just mean make sure, sure your relationship stays strong. Yes. So that way you can mm -hmm. be a team for your kids. Yes, you have. Like, I could literally not emphasize enough on teamwork in a relationship. Um, 
it's it's so important like I get really stressed out he he knows this I get really stressed out when I because as mentioned he has a full-time job and I stay at home so when I don't get my job as I call it done with like if he comes home and most of the time the dishes aren't always done the house isn't perfect and all this it stresses me out because he goes to work and he does his job every day but i'm slacking on my end and he comes home and helps out which i appreciate and he doesn't see anything wrong with it because it's his house too but it stresses me out because that's my job yeah but it all comes back to teamwork he doesn't see it as though he's doing my job it's our job yeah no i don't i don't come home say Man, what? I went to work all day and I ain't got you ain't got dinner on the stove and you ain't done this and that, man. What's wrong with you? No, that's not the way it is. No. I don't I don't do that. No, you know, you I mean if she out. if I know she's you know, like been watching T V all day and she's sitting there and you know I wish it, I could watch T V all day. In her moo moo or something like that. thank God she doesn't have moo moos, but anyway, if she's sitting there doing that and the kids has got full diapers and everything yeah, else, obviously a, we're gonna have a little bit of it. She's like, Why did you take care of the kids? But she does not do that. Okay. I she'll call me throughout the day and tell me what what our crazy kids are doing and they put her through it. All right, she yeah. she's got uh, nerves of steel. Mm, I, love, I love I love I love her to death because woo she deals with my rugrats every single day and <laughs> ah man mm. my see when I'm driving and I got her going through the speaker or whatever <laughs> and I hear them kids screaming I have a volume button she does <laughs> I don't yeah he it's funny because and there's some nights she'll come, I'll come home and she's like take one of these kids literally as soon as he walks <laughs> in the door i'm holding one ready to hand over like you get this one and walk away oh there's nights that i will have to like walk outside and i've not been with them all day so i'm like oh daddy's angel Daddy, yeah, no oh, my little man you know <laughs> but she's just like i don't want nothing to do with them oh yeah, like. i love him but when daddy gets home it's like my favorite time of the day when he calls and he's like i'm off work and i'm like Praise the Lord. <laughs> God is good. My husband. Woo, that's all about like being a partner, like being partners with each other, you know? Yeah, because she knows oh. that she can come home and she knows she's not going to be by herself. I'm not going to. Yeah. That's that's a big thing. Guys, if, especially guys, don't come home and just not help your wife. You really think you're going to get buns doing that? And I'm not even being funny. You, know, you think yeah. you're going to get buns if you come home and sit your butt down on the chair over here and not help play your wife game, yeah. and play video games or watch sports. I'm not saying don't not do any of that stuff, but help your wife out. My good, if you're the one, the main provider and she's at home with the, all these kids, these kids, who knows what they're doing? They could be hanging from the chandelier <laughs> on her. They could be climbing the curtains. <laughs> that would be our children. Eating crayons. I mean, you just, know, you just never know. Yeah. So help your wife, man. Like, that's just... Isn't that's it perfect, ladies? That's common sense, guys. Come on. You want you want some more loving from your wife? And help. you don't think you're getting enough? Help your wife, man. Takes you far in life. Yeah, oh, my God. I can't believe Some of these guys I hear from, it's like, man, dude. Is ladies, I want you to see this is what a perfect man is. Oh, stop. I'm not perfect. No, literally, not don't. Perfect, don't even means. listen to him. Stop. He's so freaking perfect all the time. I think that's why we also clash sometimes because I have all of these flaws. And then he is like a Prince Charming. No, I just have my head screwed on right, guys. Oh my goodness. Like, other than snoring, I can't, I can't, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, but for you me. can't get me on snoring, man. Oh, shut up. That was oh, one night. Last night, night. You were snoring. Anyway, back to what you were saying. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, ladies, don't settle. Find you a man like him because he's freaking perfect. Look at this face. Isn't he cute? And he's got a nice little beard. Well, big beard. But seriously, be be a team because it matters. Yeah. Like, do everything Literally together. Literally a team. Yes. Did you help make the child? You did? Okay. Help with the child. Don't let her do it, deal with it all. This ain't the 1800s where the <laughs> wife does it all. Yeah, and the, and the husband just, comes home yeah, and sets down. You know, you just help help with the kids you know like just and help her with the house housely chores and stuff she don't let, hold on which that, i'm not saying after you work 
40 to 60 hours a week or whatever, you come home and you take over her whole entire no. job and she sits down and does whatever she wants. Absolutely That's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm no, saying. No, we are a team. You all, tag, like, you know, like, say, like, I'll come home and make like, sure for she. Example, I, the, I, it's the first thing I do. Give her a kiss. Kiss all the kids. What can I do? What can I do for you? What yeah. do you need? Yeah. And most of the time, it's just take one of these kids. <laughs> But sometimes she'll she'll say, okay, like, I need you to run to the store real quick, or I need you to do this. Watch the kids. So but it's I not. Can it's never anything in. major. Or if no. it's some, or if it's even, just take one of these kids so I can have a, a minute to breathe yeah. or something. Or hey, I didn't get to brush my teeth this morning because these kids was going crazy. <laughs> or I didn't get to eat anything. There's sometimes where she's like, I didn't even get to eat anything because yeah. these kids has just been so demand. So you really want your wife to be, you know, yeah, uh, suffering like that? I love how you mentioned that because that was the other day. What's that? That I, I he walked in the door and all day I was telling him, like towards the end of the day, I was like, as soon as you walk in the door, just take a kiss so I can go brush my teeth. I didn't even have time to brush my teeth that day, and I just wanted to brush my darn teeth. Like that's all I wanted to do. So he walked in the door and I was like, I'm going upstairs and brushing my teeth. Like that's all I wanted to do is just be able to brush my teeth and. I'm not a fan of the cry it out method. I can't sit there and listen to my kids cry. He's like, just set him down for a minute. And he's not a fan of it either, but he can listen a little longer than what I can. I cannot stand to hear my it kids cry. It breaks her heart. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I mean, it breaks it. my heart too, but I'm just like. He can let it go a little bit longer. Don't let mm. him fool you, he can't. Oh, I'm a sucker sometimes for my, my kids Most too, of the time, but yeah. I, they. He can listen to it longer. Me, on the other hand, I cannot just set my child down and just let them cry for me to take time to run upstairs. And taking the kids upstairs to do something is a chore in itself because they tear up everything and then both levels of the house is a mess. So yes. make sure you are making Help time. Help each other yes. out. Oh, and I didn't mention stuff that she helps me deal with. She makes sure that my lunch is packed, Every night, she makes sure that I have coffee for in the morning. She makes sure I, I have all that. So it's not just I'm coming home and helping her. She helps me, whether it be get out the door in the morning or I handle make sure that I'm awake or she'll make sure that the bills are getting paid. You know, and I, she makes sure that I'm all set up too. It's not that I come home and I'm helping her. No, she helps me get my stuff ready for the next day too. Yeah. Whether it be laundry, lunch, coffee, I mean, whatever. You just have to be a team. I really, just, I think that is the main thing of yeah. a relationship. Like, if it's just one-sided, your relationship is not going to work And the out. other person will resent you if you yes. do not help. Yes. So. You're cute. <laughs> just, you are. You know, just, I mean, this is stuff that I obviously already know, but just hearing it just makes me love you more. But seriously though, just make sure, like like I said, having kids and stuff, it, it does a lot to your relationship. I mean, trust me, we get told all the time that we're relationship goals and that, you know, people admire our relationship and we don't have a bad relationship, no. but we have our arguments. Our yeah, relationship we, oh, yeah, is not perfect. Trust me, yeah. It's we not are not We butt heads, perfect. but we agree on pretty much everything. Yeah. But I just don't want people to think that, you know, it's all cake and it's not. You have to continue oh, to work, work at your marriage. Oh, yeah. You work. can't just not work at your marriage. It is literally a daily job work, making sure that your marriage is good. You have, and if it's, I mean, if you're not working at it, it's going to go straight down. Here. I can tell when she's mad at me and I'm like, okay, well. I have to put some work in and then <laughs> make sure that she's yeah. not mad. I don't. I, I can tell when there's something wrong with her. Yeah, same for you. You know, and I, I will bug her until I get it out of her what's wrong and then we fix it. Yeah, you just, you have to, and like I said, when the kids are fussing and everything, it, it gets stressful. I mean, we start bickering more when we're we stressed have out three. with the kids. Yes. Imagine, I mean, if you don't have three kids, imagine three of them. Crying, three. and then we start All bickering. At the same time. And, then, and then we're just like, <laughs> <laughs> Literally though. Especially when the two young ones start crying. When the yeah. two young babies start crying. It gets bad. It's just, oh, it's ear piercing. Mm -hmm. And that's when we're just like, you know, and then we start bickering. Yeah, well, no, I mean not always, but no, not like always. we just, I just sometimes we'll laugh. 
Because that's our life. <laughs> yeah, we're like, whoa, this is our life, yeah. <laughs> but. But just, um, you guys with kids obviously already know, but like I said, I had a lot of you, you know, asking how we continue to make our relationship just work and focus on each other. And it really just all comes down to teamwork and just make, I, even if it's five minutes here or there, make time for each other. Like don't be, don't be roommates. Yes. Don't be roommates. Don't just live with each other and be parents together. Be, have a relationship. I mean, who wants their marriage to just go downhill after you have kids? It's not supposed to be like that. And no. it can easily get like that. Oh, I yeah. mean, trust me, we've had times in our relationship where we are like, okay, we need to spend more time with each other. Because you know, that romance can kind of die down if you're not spending time with each other. And it, like I said, with kids, it just makes it harder. But there's nights that he'll only get a few hours of sleep but it's because he's making sure he stays up and spends time with me. Like he, this guy, whew, he will literally get like three hours of sleep. No, nah, it's not every night though. No, don't, not don't every make night. Me think that she's no. keeping me up until the wee hours of the night, and I don't get no hour. No. Sometimes I keep you up for the wee hours of the night. But seriously though, he there's. So after that, who needs sleep? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm ready. To <laughs> feel like Superman what? Superman, I hate you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but my point was just, even if it's five minutes here or there, even if you're losing out on sleep, even if you're so tired you can't keep your eyes open, make time for each other. Do something nice for each other. Like there's small things that we'll do for each other. Like I mentioned the text messaging. She will put, every now and again, she'll put like uh, little notes in my oh, lunch. Yeah. Like she'll, like I'll have a banana and she'll put, she'll write on the banana, have a good day, honey. Yeah, just little or things. Or she'll write on a napkin saying, I love you, I'm thinking about you, yeah. have a good day. And then you And just that, you know, messages. obviously I'm gonna smile about that. Yeah. As soon as I pull out, cause I'm like, oh, she's scared. I'm gonna kiss her face <laughs> when I get home. And usually I do, which yes. I do that anyway, but you know. That's another thing, stuff. always kiss your spouse when they get home from work, ladies. Always greet them at the door. I, I, trust me, there's a lot of times where I don't, but make it a priority to greet your spouse. Let him know that he was missed. I mean, you're stressed out being at home with the kids all day, but he goes out and makes the money. Seriously though, yeah, just make sure you are focusing on your spouse too, because a lot of the times, I think it gets switched around where he's coming home and just focusing on what can I do for you? What can you do for him too? Because he's going out there and making the money every day. Rub his feet, he doesn't like it that much, but just do something for him. Fix his plate, which I always do. That's And I don't ask her to do no, that. No, that's it. my job. I fix his dinner plate every night. Just doing little things for each other goes a long way in a relationship. So I think that's our main advice, right? I mean, do you have anything else? Be a team. Be a team. Don't be selfish. Don't be don't be selfish. If you guys want to see more relationship videos, I'm trying to get him in the videos more. I'm usually shy when I film with him. So I don't really like when he gets home, I don't really pick up the camera anymore, but I want to. And he you don't have a problem being in videos. He's the star. This face. <laughs> this beard. Come on. <laughs> Seriously though, if you guys have any more recommendations for videos either, I would love to hear them. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to put him in some videos more often because people usually like seeing us together. But um, I think that's it for this put video. Put me in coach. Oh, gosh, you can't me. Put me in coach. <laughs> He's annoying. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you guys haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, put your thumb up. Big thumbs up. No thumbs down. It makes me sad. It does. She cries, guys. Guys, on, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't, do don't do it. Give it a thumbs up. I don't want to see her cry. <laughs> oh my. But yes, yeah, so that's subscribe. it for this video. Yes, yeah, subscribe to my channel. I'm getting more and more, and it makes me so, so happy. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.